So in Halo Infinite's new campaign overview, we got a good look at our Cortana. Not the weapon, the classic original trilogy Cortana, who is also sporting the same classic purple look, which I have to say, I'm a big fan of. But it got me thinking, if one of Chief's main goals in Zeta Halo is to track down and find out what happened to Cortana, when he does find her, is she still going to be crazy? You know, is she still going to be the Halo 5 Guardians Cortana, or is she going to be the one that we know and have grown to love? So today, let's talk about a couple of different possibilities. If you came in here wanting an answer, unfortunately, <laughs> the game hasn't come out yet. So it may surprise you to hear that I don't know, but what I do have is a couple of good ideas that I think might be worth spending a couple of minutes to listen to. So. Let's get right into that. To give a brief summary, Halo 5 ended with Cortana and, supposedly, a bunch of UNSC AIs going rogue and pretty much trying to take control of all of human-controlled space, from the outer colonies all the way through to Earth itself. So that left us on a very, very strange storyline. However, it did end in the legendary ending with Cortana doing some humming and you seeing a halo ring, supposedly Zeta Halo. So let's think through the possible answers to if Cortana will still be crazy. Option number one is, yeah, she's still gonna be crazy. Option number two is, she won't. Or option number three is, kinda, she'll be a little crazy. Like if you strip it all back, those are the storylines that you could go for what Cortana is going to be like when we do find her. Because they did state in the recent campaign overview that the answer to finding out what happened to Cortana is somewhere on Zeta Halo. Storytelling wise, let's be real here, 343 could pull a complete 180 on everything from Halo 5, and none of us would blink an eye, because if that is what gets us the story that we want, then I'm more than happy for them to do that. And I think that they can very easily write anything into the story and just be like, oh, forerunner this and that, blah blah blah, Cortana's now back to normal. And none of us would question it whatsoever because it would give us our Cortana back. So now, let's take a second to talk through all of the different choices that I mentioned earlier for what Cortana is going to be like. So, option number one. If Cortana is still crazy, what is that going to look like? Well, I think it's probably the least likely of all things to happen, because the Halo community made it very clear after Halo 5 that we were not a fan of that storyline, and we did not like the direction that this was all going in. But either way, let's just play it through. So Crazy Cortana rocks up to the Halo ring with her guardian and finds probably the Harbinger. I mean, it looks as if the Harbinger has come from the Halo Ring, so I guess Cortana might have encountered her and faced off against her, because Cortana was trying to control the mantle of responsibility and take it away from the humans. So because of that, I think that the Harbinger also might have felt that Cortana was not worthy of holding the mantle of responsibility. And so that's why I think that they may have faced off against each other and the Harbinger may have defeated Cortana and trapped her on the Halo Ring in some kind of a Forerunner terminal or even in the Forerunner domain. And by going through the story, you will then, as the Chief, discover her and, I guess, free her. Now, from that point onwards, if she is still crazy, she would probably still see the value in teaming up with the humans and the UNSC as a whole to take down the Banished and the Harbinger who put her in there in the first place. So she would still probably want to work together with us despite the events of Halo 5. However, if she wasn't crazy and being trapped in the Forerunner domain somehow restored her to the original trilogy Cortana that we all love, then what would happen? Well, 
it would depend on the pacing of the game, because you can't go through all of Halo Infinite's campaign and just have all of this character building with the weapon and then just swapping her out for Cortana at the end. That would be a bit of an ass pull, and I don't really like the idea of it because I can see a lot of people really liking the weapon, and she seems to have a good response from the community, so swapping her out and having her replaced by Cortana would just fracture the community yet again, and I don't think that's the way to go either. So just to talk through my last and third option for Cortana, what do I mean about her being kind of crazy? Well, I think it's also possible that 343 may want to keep their options open as far as storytelling goes. So if they have Cortana back at the end of the game, but she has problems still, then that is a very easy couple of doors that are open still for storytelling and allows you to still work with that a fair bit. So there leaves the potential for future Halo games once more. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much my thoughts. There's a few things that I want to discuss as well as little tangents, but I'll be making other videos for that as well. So thank you all for watching the video until the very end. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe so we can hit 1K before Halo Infinite drops. It's all part of the great journey. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below, and I'll see you all on the next one. I've been Kiv, and I'm out.